As promised, I'm going to do the Dior Capture Total Lift Serum review and compare it to the Dior Prestige Serum. The reason being, this is still $200. It's an expensive serum, but this was $500, so under 50% of the cost. So I still have high expectations for a $200 serum. That is not cheap. So I really want to put it to the test, see if it works as well, see if we notice any benefits from it, and see if it's worth its price tag. Dior says it only takes seven days to see the benefits from their Capture Total Le Serum. So I'm going to do kind of like a seven day review on here, the before and after. Because I think seven days is a bit of a hefty claim for it. I have already been using it for three days, but I did film my very first use of it and the before pictures then. So like the Dior Prestige Le Micro Wheel de Rose serum, Capture Total still is supposed to be an anti-aging serum. And it's supposed to work on expression lines and wrinkles, improving the appearance of pores, unevenness, loss of elasticity, a firmness, a radiance, and plumpness. So Capture Total does use fermented Longoza. It's the active ingredient in a lot of their skincare, especially the Capture Total skincare collection. The Dior Capture Total Serum has HA polyfiller technology, which basically means a mix of different hyaluronic acids and polyglycerols, which are supposed to have a plumping effect, so we'll see. So the things I'm looking for and the benefits I'm hoping for from Capture Total Serum are things like reduction of fine lines around my eyes and my forehead, things like improved firmness and radiance. Not so worried about uneven skin tone because I self-tan a lot, and I'm also not so worried about my pores because they're not too big anyway. Besides the fermented Longoza from the Dior Gardens in Madagascar, it also has iris extract from Tuscany as an active ingredient. And the idea of the iris extract is to stabilize the fermented Longoza for your anti-aging benefits. Dior recommends starting with a Capture Total Intensive Essence Lotion. And the idea of that is to strengthen the skin barrier and even out the skin texture. Then Dior recommends using the Capture Total Serum to define your facial contours. So I like to really try and do a kind of lymphatic drainage massage, especially around my nose and nasal labia folds under my eyes, and then press any leftover serum into my skin to make sure it's fully absorbed. Then apply the Capture Total Rich Cream, smoothing onto your face with outward movements. And then you're supposed to do this every morning and every night. This cream is also designed to strengthen the skin's barrier and correct visible signs of aging. What I like about it is it's not greasy and it absorbs well. And you could also do this with their Super Potent Rich Cream. Then ideally you're going to follow with the Capture Total Super Potent Eye Serum, again doing that morning and night from the temple to the inner corner of the eye using light pressure with the applicator. You're also going to want to use it on your upper eyelid, brow bone and crow's feet. A couple of pro tips, to lift the upper eyelid, you can smooth and stretch the skin upward with the applicator very carefully. And then if you want to sculpt, you can lift the arch of the eyebrow and then knead the brow line with your fingertips for five seconds on each brow. I love this metal applicator i find it really really cooling i haven't yet because it's winter but i'm going to be keeping it in the fridge in the summer to get even more of a cooling and depuffing effect from it but i wasn't sure whether to get the serum or the eye cream i didn't want to invest in both because it really starts adding up if you buy the serum and then you buy the face cream and then you buy the eye serum and then you buy the face cream it seems a lot of money and it kind of seems a bit unnecessary why am i buying a face serum and an eye serum but I do really like the eye serum because I think I really enjoy the applicator. So I'm going to stick to both serums, but just use the face cream, not use their eye cream. Now, one thing I feel that's really important to mention because I do do a lot of cruelty-free skincare and products, Dior is still not cruelty-free. They still test on animals, which drives me crazy because there's kind of no excuse these days. But it is what it is and it is beautiful skincare. So we're going to see how this works in seven days. Honestly, I don't know if this serum is worth the money. I don't see a huge difference between the before and after pictures whatsoever. I know it's only been a short time, but I had much higher expectations. I really didn't see the results I saw with Prestige Serum, but the Prestige Serum is also $500 versus $200. And this is a seven day review versus 60 day, but that anti-aging, firmness, plumpness, evening out the skin texture, I'm really not seeing with this. So I don't know if I'd buy it again. It's also a lot runnier than the Prestige Serum and it doesn't smell as good. Good. there's also a lot of steps it's easy to use but it is time consuming if you do all six to seven steps they say because you've got the face essence you've got the face serum you've got the eye serum you've got the eye cream you've got the face cream 
and then the option to use a higher loose sharp. So I definitely don't think you need the essence. I don't think you need two serums or a face cream and an eye cream. I would stick to using one serum and one cream. Honestly, I don't think you need to put a lot on because also the more products you put on, the more chance you have of it pilling under makeup, especially if you're using Hyalu Shot and a primer. It suddenly ends up with a lot of products on your face. Now with the cream, I like that the cream isn't greasy, but I don't love that the face cream is sticky. So in the day it can pill under foundation and then at night it sticks to my silk pillowcase. So that's a pass for me. I think the only thing I would rebuy from the Dior Capture Total collection is the eye serum because I really like that cooling metal applicator. Possibly also the Dior Hyalu Shot. I think it's a really good plumper. I don't know if you necessarily need it though. I don't know if you see a huge difference, but it's not that expensive if you want to give it a go. So in conclusion, I'm going to skip on the Capture Total Serum this time and switch to the Capture Total Eye Serum and the Hyalu Shot. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe.